Hello my friends and welcome to part 33 of the Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom and Hydra Let's Play episode. In this episode, I'll be going through the um, the last two socks. Unfortunately, I have to admit, I looked up a guide for these last two. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I just wanted to get to, to, to get these found before Thursday Thursday's video so I can show you guys on in a timely manner. I didn't want to have to take another break from this game just for two socks. I felt like that would have been kind of ridiculous. And this other sock, like once I saw it, I was like, how did I miss that? I'm gonna show you where it is though. Um it's kind of early on. Oh, and then I want to show you, like, where I thought it was. And that one was kind of annoying because it was, like, tripping me up. Like, because, like, there's, like, a fruit. And, like, you're thinking, like, for the freezy fruit, once you see it, you'll, like, probably agree with me. Like, why is it even there? If anyone can tell me why it's there, like, when I get to that part, like, that's cool. But, like, I don't really see the reason. Oh, you know what? That's the underwear. But I think that was there to kind of get you prepared for the sock. It was kind of like a hint, and I just didn't see it. See, it's right there. It's right there. See, like, I think that part was to kind of give you a hint. But I just didn't see it. Oh, you know what? Oh, and then I gotta go back. I gotta jump onto this, and then there you go. And then now what I can do is I just need to be a little bit careful. And there you go. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly show off where I thought it was. So yeah, this ice block. What am I supposed to do with the ice block? I thought this was for like a secret like water area. And I thought it was like kind of weird that I was in a place where there's no water like close by. And so I kept thinking, oh, I just throw it at that water. And I like got like a rhythm down sort of where I could hit the water um, without having to jump down, which was nice. But then there's not even a sock in there, so what's even the point? There's a shiny object. Uh, uh, are you telling me that you do it for the shiny object? Like, because that's kind of ridiculous, I think. Like, I mean, sure, it's purple, but I, I guess they do make shiny objects hard to grab sometimes. But yeah. This is crazy of a puzzle if that wasn't the intent. Like, I don't know. To me, I feel like it was easy to get tripped up because, like, you would think, like, having this hard of a puzzle, at least for me, like, I was thinking that, like, there, w there had to be a shiny object. Here, I'll show you the little bit of a shortcut. Yeah, I'm gonna try to go up here. It's over here, I think. And then what you can do is you jump on this little patch of sand. So you can skip all of this. Like, which is pretty cool because, like, especially considering there is that tartar sauce in that really bad position right there. And you can do this right away. Like, you don't have to, like, you don't need any, like, special powers or anything. You can basically skip all of this. And how you do it is like that. It's really simple. There's a lot of leeway, too. You want to make sure you're on that patch of sand, though. But that's pretty cool because you get to skip the Duplicatron. You get to skip the um, Tartar Sauce robots. Especially that one that really annoying position like run right on the edge of that one thing Like it's really cool 
you can just skip all of that. I don't think there's like anything of importance. Except for like that box, I guess. Like you could like just like you won't be getting the box. But if you wanted to, you could always go back and quickly get it. I think it's still pretty cool. And it's probably easier to deal with the Tartar robot from over here since like you won't be on a precarious ledge yourself. You'll be in a pe better position to deal with the Tartar um, robot. Yeah. So yeah, that was just something I was um I discovered. I thought would be kind of cool to show off. Anyway, I'll move on to the next sock. Like, when you're looking at it, like you're thinking like, oh well, of course they're set up in that way because like it's supposed to be hinting at something. Are there ten here? Four, five. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it looks like there's only eight. But yeah, what you're just supposed to do is really simple. Just pull. Until. Yeah, it doesn't work. If you don't get it, you can always just um go back. This is kind of weird because, like, I, I got my first time. You need to not. You, you need to destroy all of those um, sh tiki's in one go with the bubble bull power because you can't get them all in one go with anything else so that's why it's only the bubble bull power that works so I think yeah like they were saying like stand the guy I saw this on was saying like stand next to the tata sauce and you should be able to get it There it is. Okay. And then that's how you get this sock. Yeah, once you... Once you figure that out... It's really simple. So now what I'll do is I'll go back to Patrick. And then give him the rest of the socks. And then that'll happen all of them. And I think th this is like the only sock where it's like not really obvious. I mean, I know there are other socks where like they only show up after you do something. But like, for example, with the Annoy Squidward thing, like... I mean, yeah, I guess you could have been like me where like you wouldn't think of like destroying everything. You would just go until like Squidward gets annoying enough to give you the Golden Spatula. But, like, at least that's, like, a start. Like, they don't even give you, like, a start. But I guess, like, like they figure, like, you got all these other spatulas. You should be able to figure it out. Um, And they gave you, like, plenty of hints. But I, like, I'm just not really good at taking hints. But I'm working on it. I don't speak Italian. Unfortunately, there's another SpongeBob game that's coming out. So I can use that as another. If There's probably going to be hidden stuff in that game. Like, there usually is for, like, I think platformers usually have, like, some sort of hidden stuff, usually. Um, so I'm going to definitely. So if there are, I'm definitely going to try again. And with that one, that's going to be fun. Because I can, like, start right away where, like, I don't look anything up for as long as I can. I'm still trying, like... There are occasions where I do have to look stuff up, but I'm still trying. I think I am getting better. But, yeah, I definitely still need to work at it. Um, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. I need to get more, um shiny objects in order to unlock the theater so I'll do that I'll probably just show you the first time and getting up there just like if you want a reminder since I t did tell you I would be showing off how you grind for shiny objects I think this is the oh actually I think it's it's simpler if you just go to here. I wonder where the, f like, how, 
the fastest route, route to getting to that location is. I think it's over here. Yeah. I think this is actually the fast location. The fastest way. Yeah, what I was doing is I was starting from the bottom, but I think it's actually better if you just start from here. Oh, yeah. And so, and now you, what you want to do is you want to go back to the... Um, to the checkpoint. I think this might actually be faster. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is faster. It might be about the same length. I guess it like depends on preference. But this I I might prefer more. And you can even get a few on the of the robots on the way there. I feel like you can get le there's less opportunities for getting robots with the other one. So now what you do, once you're over here, I found it easier if you like go a little bit closer for th for this one. And then do the bubble cruise to these tikis. You want to focus on the tikis, not really the robots. Because I think the tikis give you more. I missed one, but that's okay. Oh yeah, and another thing is you want to be kind of wary about the checkpoint because even if the checkpoint isn't up, there's still like an invisible wall there. Okay, I'll show you that too. And then what I'll do is I'll um just go do it like off camera until I and until I get enough shiny object, which is four thousand. Once I get to around four thousand, I'll like come back to you guys. But right, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show it off one more time because I want to show you about that like sort of like um invisible wall with the check checkpoint. So if you die, you'll notice that the checkpoint isn't up. And so you would think you can just like basically like shoot from here. But if you do that, like, like this is kind of a bad position because look why it's a bad position. See, there's an invisible wall with the checkpoint. Even though it isn't up, it's still... That that hitbox, as if it would be up, is still there. So, yeah. So, that's why it's, like, basically just exploding. Because even though it isn't up, the hitbox still remains. Which is pretty interesting. Um, so, yeah. What I'll do... I think I'll show it off one more time to see if I can do a better job with this. Because I didn't get them all the first times. Oh, maybe you can't get them all. Huh. Never noticed that before. Maybe you can't get them all. I don't know. If As long as you get most of them, it's still fine, though. Like, you're still getting quite a bit. Of shiny objects. I think it's about a thousand each time. So yeah. What I'm going to do. Is I'm going to just come back to you guys. Once I get to the 4,000. And I'll show off the theater. And I think I'll be done for the, for um, this episode. Okay. I'm back in here. Um, and so basically. Um. There's something also kind of thought of that's not really entailed to the video, but I think like that's pretty interesting for anyone else who uses Share Factory. Um, what I thought of doing is like just in case like my video goes a little like too long for Share Factories. Like I mean I have an hour, but like I mean just in case like what I did is basically I'm splitting this up into two clips, and so what I did was I saved the first clip, and this is a second. At the beginning of when I go on camera. And another nice thing that does. Is now I now I only have to worry about the stop position. Which I need to cut. Instead of like it need, need to like worry about like where I cut to start. And where I cut to end. Because like now the end basically just became the beginning of this next section. Which I can just piece together anyway. 
like where it's really easy you just select this as well as like the other one in the right in the order in which you want them to go and anyway um now what i want to do you do is like show you a few like um like mistakes you can make while doing this so here's like one mistake you can make um is basically instead of hitting the red you hit one of those wow that's really weird it stayed up there oh yeah there's also another thing where if you get it like a little bit wrong see like that happens if you notice where it doesn't actually explode any of them so that's kind of annoying too oh finally it's falling it's falling really slowly though that's so weird yeah you can technically get all of them but generally as long as you get most of them like you should just like move it's it's generally bad just to move on to the next one um yeah oh yeah here's another don't um you kind of want to aim for the middle because if you aim a little bit up like it's it's a lot hard to nab it and if you like get it on the rope yeah that's not what how i do it i'll try showing it one more time see if i can get this time um, but yeah, if you aim it at the rope, you won't get anything. So you want to aim it in between the rope and the board. Because if you... Because it is still technically possible if you aim it, like... Like, past the rope and then go down. But it's really hard, like, if you do it like that. See, like, if you aim a little bit too up... Hold on. I'm trying to hit the rope but not hit the... This is proving to be kind of difficult. Yeah, see, if you hit it on the rope... It won't destroy anything. Likewise, if you hit on the board, I don't think it will just... Okay, maybe if you hit on the board, it will also get something. That may be another way to get it. But yeah, I'll try to... Sh I think I'm just gonna... Um, I'll try to show, like, where, like... Okay, yeah. Well, I, I didn't get it that time anyway. Here's another thing that I saw. If you get it on the... um. You want to aim for the, um, the Thunder Tiki, but I think if you're a little off, like, um, because, like, of that, like, little explosion that the bubble has, um, you, you may still be able to get the explosion from the Thunder Tiki after all. Um, oh yeah, and also, if you mess up, like, if you're going, like, really high by accident, you can always just, um, try again by pressing the same button you use to ignite the bubble cruise to start it up you just press that same button again to like basically um explode it pre pre prematurely and then you can like try again a little bit quicker oh yeah and also if you want to include the um the duplicatron along with it um it's not too bad, like, generally not really, like, advised, but if you wanted to, like, you could just technically destroy it. And then you don't have to wait for it to go, because, uh, um, the shiny objects will still come to you, even if you're, like, dying. So that's pretty cool, but, like, you don't really get a lot, like, I only got, like, a little, like, under 100 for destroying that. Yeah. So, anyway, so that's that. Okay, so now what I can do, like I said I would. I don't know what the quickest way is. This is probably not the quickest way because this, like, puts you where Mr. Krabs was before. But it's fine. I'll just go over to it. And now that I have 40,000, I can lock the theater finally. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you that the theater isn't, like, that important, but it's kind of cool. Yeah, the theater actually is in a, um, is, is another area, as you'll see. It's just a little fun thing you can unlock if you want to. Hello, sir. May I help you? See, now he has a different line. It's kind of ridiculous that 40000 is the price of a movie ticket. Like, that's kind of a lot. Like, how much are these shiny objects even worth? 
I wonder now, like, if a movie ticket's about, like, $10 or, like, maybe $20 at most, like, I guess shiny objects really aren't worth that much. See, this is what it is. It's just showing off, like, a few of the other concept designs and basically what the final design for the Thunder Tikis is. So, if you want, you can, like, feel free to, like, let me know down in the comments, like, what your favorite design was. Like, do you like the, did you prefer the old ones, or do you like the new designs? Like, I think for this one, Thunder Tiki, I think the green would have looked cool. The green and orange would have looked kind of cool, just because I like green. But I understand why they went for red and yellow, because that's generally, like, more, like, typically thought of it for, like, thunder. Red and yellow. And then this one, just some concept art for this. Yeah, see, I think he was, like, gonna be in a different floaty. Like, one of them was where it didn't even have a head. And then one of them where it was, where it had, like, more circular horns. But, like, the final one was, was where it had those, like, devil horns. Which is probably the best because, like, now, um, he looks a lot. A, a little bit more scary with that. Oh, and apparently one of them was where, like, he had, like, gas signs on his, like, like, little light bulb things on the end. And, like, he had more of a square head. Here's another one. I, th this is, like, one, one part for the Marmalaya. A little bit of the Marmalaya. Here's, like, for the, um, oil guys. See, like, they had different designs where, like, the ears would like be like balloons, but they eventually just went with like antennas. One of them was like where they were balloons with antennas at the end. I think that's the final design is probably the best. S sleepy time concept art. I don't. Oh, I guess like just different positions, like how he would be sleeping. Hmm. And then here's, oh, well, like, I guess now you, like, have, like, a little bit of spoil for, like, what the Plankton bot will be looking up. Like, that will be coming up. Oh, well, it's, I think it's fine. And then there's, the uh, Umbrella bot, whatever that's called. Oh, yeah, this is from the multiplayer section, so there's a little bit of spoiler there as well. I wonder if he actually says you bought a clip. <laughs> so yeah, this is for like, I think this is a new picture because this, because they didn't have this robot in the last game, like because they didn't, they didn't have that multiplayer section. So this might be one of the new pictures that they didn't have the, for the museum, for, for the um theater in the last game. So like, and I think, Technically, theater was like cost like the same amount, so I guess technically you're getting more for your money's worth if you think about it. Here's just concept off for Sand Mountain area. See, like this is what it basically is, just a bunch of concept art. If you're into that sort of thing, like then be co cool. I mean, you could always just like, just look this up online and then save yourself from having to collect shiny objects. But I just feel it's kind of cool just to um have this up yourself like then you'll be like well now i have it and it's not that hard to actually get concept off for the bus stops for king jellyfish for some of the other bosses boss arenas and then that's basically it and then just loops around yeah this was the first yeah And there's even another fish guy in here. So that's pretty cool. Yep. So you can actually move around. I'm not sure if you could, like, actually move around the theater in the last game. But yeah, there's, like, no, like, hidden socks in here. Um. So yeah, there's, like, really no reason to, like, unlock this unless you're... Unless you're wanting to, like, be able to, like, see that concept art. Which you can... At, probably just look up online anyway um but yeah 
So I think I'm not going to go through the um, verse. I'll just leave it in the description because this video went a little bit long. Even when, even with me cutting out a bunch of the um, shiny object grinding, it still went a bit long. So yeah, I'm just going to go move on to the recap real quick. And then I'll move on to the outro after that. But I'll do a little bit snippet of what I'm going to be doing in the next episode real quick after the recap. So anyway, here's the recap. I got the sock for Jellyfish Fields, which is here. It was um basically um a little bit past this part in between um where you go past here but before the um but before you go to this area um it was a little like out of the way like um but like basically how you get up onto the platform is you need to jump on that um you need to bounce on that um first first bouncy platform like uh, the bouncy platforms that get you to the um, jellyfish to top the jellyfish statue which is where you found another one of the socks which I, I showed off you just bounce on the first one in order to get up on that on that um, platform that's a little bit out of the way um, and then once you're on that platform like you just need to be a little bit careful like bouncing onto the heads of the tiki's the flowing tiki's until you get to that sock um, and then also the sock for the Kelp Force, like, this was in the first area. It was, um, before this part, but a little bit after this part. I think it was, like, after the first, like, sets of bouncy leaves. And then you should see, like, um, a, a, a lineup, like, of sh tiki's, um, that are like right a little bit after a broken tartar sauce bottle um and then you basically like stand on the tartar sauce from the broken tartar sauce bottle since it's just a decoration the tartar sauce the tartar sauce won't actually hurt you and you just like you need to have the bowling which i'm pretty sure you should have um with the level here and then you just bowl the sh tiki's. That's the only way to get them all anyway. And then once you get them all in one single go. Um, the sock will appear. And then I also like. Um, showed you a little bit more f about the grinding for shiny objects. Um, by. And I found you like a, a little bit of a quicker way to get up there. Which is basically by going by fast teleporting to this um, golden spatula and going back until you get to the checkpoint that's on the, on top of the sandcastle. Um, or not exactly on top of the sandcastle, but that's on the upper level after the water rising section. Um, I'm not sure if that's quick, like going like that is quicker than starting from the bottom and going up like from this golden spatula fast travel area but either way like it will get you to the checkpoint and then once you're at the checkpoint like i showed you how to um do the um shiny object farming and i sh also showed you um what not to do like um as well like what are some mistakes you can be making so just make sure you don't make those mistakes because that will cost you some time um and then and then i showed you the um what you can unlock through the um spending all the shiny objects with the um theater room it just was a bunch of concept art it was like um, the theater was like within the area where the Krusty Krab and Chum Bucket were, that final area in Bikini Bottom. Um, there's actually not like no golden spatulas or socks for that. It's really just to like see a bit of concept art. So it's not that important to unlock, but it's kind of cool, I think. Um, and it's not like, like, shot, 
farming up shiny objects are that difficult. But I can understand if you don't want to unlock it. Um, so yeah. So that's basically what I did. Just grab a, like two more socks and showed off the um, theta area. Um, and then what I'll do in the next video, which will unfortunately be after the New Year's because I'm not getting back until Friday. So that's going to be directly after the, t the, the two days that for next week I could have done the um, Spongebob videos. And then I told you I don't really like scheduling, so I'll just like wait until after I get back. Um, so it's going to be past the New Year's, but I think it's okay. Like, um, I should be able to finish up the main game in the next episode. I'm going to just be getting the last two spatulas from the Trump Bucket Lab. I, the, I don't have to worry about there being any more socks. It's just two more spatulas and I'll be done. Um... Um, but I won't really tell you about like what those two spatulas consist of. But you did, but I will tell you did get a little bit of a hint with the theater room, um, with seeing that like plankton robot. Like if you notice that, like it was, like that you didn't see him anywhere else. Like it must, it, it must be within. Well, I guess it could also be like one of the multiplayer sections. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I'll, I'll just do the Chum Bucket Lab in the next episode. Okay, so I hope you're excited about that. And that will be the um, first Tuesday of the new year. And then after that, I'll be moving on to the multiplayer section. Okay, and now I'm going into the outro now. I hope everyone enjoyed um, um, seeing where those last two sock locations were. Please like, share, and subscribe, and consider ringing that notification bell for either all of my content or just some of it. You can set it for personalized, which is only the content you watch the most, or all, which will be um, getting all of my content whether you watch it or not. Um, and by do and in order to do that, you simply just need to click the um, notification bell, and it'll ask you if you want to set it for all or personalized only. Um, yeah. And also, um, if you would like some ideas about what to comment, um, please. Oh yeah. Also, please comment if you would be so kind. It will also help the algorithm as well. Um, and if you need some ideas, it can be something pertaining to the video, pertaining to one part of a Let's Play, or maybe a part that you're confused about, or maybe um, the verse pertaining to a verse, maybe something you're confused about with the verse, if you want me to explain it a little bit better. Um, if you want to let me know that you're praying for me, if I gave you a... Uh, um, if I gave a new prayer request or if you're just praying some kind of general prayer uh, over me or if you like a prayer request that would be fine too and then uh, maybe someone can um, respond to that comment I'm not sure if responding to comments is as good as for the algorithm as just leaving a new comment but um, so I think um, preferably it should be a new comment, although if you just want to respond to some comment that you take interest in, that's fine too, because I'm sure it still helps somewhat um, as well. Or if I made a pinned comment you want to respond to that, that should be fine. Um, also, if you can, please watch through the whole video at normal speed. Um, I think that helps the most. Although, if you just want to do it your own way, um, if you watch for th at least 30 seconds real time, that will count as a view. So that would, so that would be good as well. If you can at least do that, that would be perfect. Um, and then, yeah, so, 